Zenyatta is one of the most punishing supports in Overwatch 2 when played correctly, but his power comes with great risk of death if you find yourself out of position. In order to avoid dying off cooldown, let's review some of the most common mistakes you are going to make against every hero in the game. Obviously, against D.Va, understand that her defense matrix is going to completely eat your damage. The larger mistake you may not think about, however, is playing within her booster range. Play far enough away so that she can't fly onto you and then respond with aggressive damage with your Discord Orb. Powering up Doom's punch with your left clicks or early right clicks is surely to get you killed consistently. Make sure you apply Discord and wait patiently for your moment to kill him, as messing up will get you killed quickly. Junker Queen is very quick, but struggles due to a lack of vertical mobility. Make sure you don't play close to her, but also watch out to avoid getting pulled by her knife. Zenyatta's hitbox is pretty easy to hit, all things considered. On top of this, track when she has her ultimate as it completely counters your transcendence. Avoid applying Discord on Orisa when she is full health and in gold. 9 times out of 10, you are not going to kill her and you'll have a much easier time surrounding her team and killing the backline. Opposite to Orisa though, don't let Ramacha control the tempo for free. This will kill your team extremely quickly. Instead, apply Discord to him regularly when he has his fists out as it will force him to be less aggressive than he wants to be and might even help you avoid making a mistake and dying. Playing against a Reinhardt is simple take angles or break his shield quickly depending on the composition you are playing. However, the biggest mistake I see players make is not holding corners when he has shatter to transcendence and then take the pin for the teammate when you're actually in the ultimate. You can get so much value by doing this, and not doing so will lose you so many fights. Much like against Queen, Hog has no vertical mobility, but his hook is deadly due to your large hitbox. Avoid the initial cooldown and then allocate your orb to him quickly. There's a reason why Ana and Zen are effective hog counters. A big mistake players make against Sigma's Flux is consistently using Transcendence on it no matter the situation. Sometimes your team doesn't actually need it. For example, if the Sig flexes but your team has full health and has line of sight cut from the enemy, they are safe and do not need it. This could also be applicable if you have a friendly Baptiste with a mortality field, allowing you to keep Transcendence for another ultimate like Blade, Visor, Dragon, and the list goes on. Just like D.Va, the mistake you'll make against Winston is playing within his jumping range. If he jumps on you and he kills kills you, he wins, but if he jumps and does not manage to kill you, you can shift the tempo back into completely melting him. Be on the lookout for opportunities to ping pong back in and command the game. Ignoring the wrecking ball is the worst thing you can do as Zen. Try your best to avoid his slam and take him out swiftly after. The best way to counter Azaria is by forcing her to use her bubbles early, and the way you do this is by pressuring her out personally, especially at lower elos. Make sure you don't get caught being selfish with your orbs as a result, and this will help you out a lot. Ash only needs a quick headshot body shot combo to kill you, so make sure you don't make this easy for her to pull off. Avoid her dynamite and try to start every 1v1 with a volley before tap firing. Against Bastion, do not try to 1v1 him when he has his turret form active. Instead, charge a volley in this time and respond when he is vulnerable in transition. When in high noon, do not tap fire Cassidy unless it is right at the start or if he is low. Instead, locate him, charge a volley around a corner, and then peek quickly while he isn't looking. Don't get distracted by echoes flying extremely high. This is going to cause you to miss all of your shots and get no value out of Discord. You're better off just sitting in spawn at that point. Charge your volley while Genji uses deflect in 1v1s, but be ready for him to drop deflect and attack shortly after you start charging. A lot of players make the mistake of getting surprised when he drops deflect and lose the 1v1 instead of running back into their team. Avoid 1v1ing Hanzo from range. It is super easy for him to take your large hitbox out and it is important to bait him into your team rather than ego dueling him. This is even more applicable against Hanzo than all of the other hitscan DPS we have discussed thus far. However, on the contrary, keeping your distance from junk is the best way to live in the 1v1. Understand the differences in situations and react accordingly. Using Transcendence to counter Maze Ultimate is only the first step. Make sure you try and body block whomever is getting focused to keep them alive throughout the duration. Vera is usually paired with Mercy, and it is important to discord the right target to support your hitscan melting the duo. Obviously, discording Mercy is helpful, but the target comes down to what your hitscan can actually see and shoot. So if the hitscan can see the Mercy, discord her. If not, pressure the Pharah. Avoid getting too close to a Reaper, but more importantly, if you see him teleporting, charge a volley to give him a hurtful surprise instead of dying because you possibly missed a shot or two. Avoid taking 1v1s against a soldier in the open. Instead, jiggle peek around cover after he uses his helix rocket to make it very hard for him to do damage and also track him through walls with your discord. Avoid sojourn entirely when playing Zen. Your hitbox is huge and easy to hit. The only time you should maybe peek her is when she does not have her slide and is open, but that goes for really any character. A big 
big mistake against Sombra is to be ignorant of her EMP. When she has EMP, you have options to either hide or react to it once the fight breaks out. It depends on how you feel, but regardless, it comes down to you understanding that she has the ultimate and being prepared. Understand that Symmetra's wall cuts off your healing while in Transcendence, so try to call out a side that you want to take the fight on to keep your team alive when the situation goes south. Torb is an easy target for you to kill quickly as Zenyatta. Many players forget to destroy his turret. Most of the time, this is your job, so make sure you don't forget to do it, or your flankers will have a very difficult time getting things done. While 1v1ing Tracer can get value with you on Zen, don't get too aggressive and isolated. If you are going to pressure out a Tracer, make sure you are in the presence of your team so you do not die. Peeking a Widow is probably the worst thing you can do as Zen, yet a lot of people tend to get overzealous. Instead, look to charge volleys before rotating and attempt to pressure her off angles to create space for your team. And lastly, to start off those supports, Ana can completely counter your transcendence with Nade, so make sure you track whether or not she has used it before trying to save your team from difficult ultimates. You can also force this cooldown out simply by targeting her with Discord. 1v1ing Baptiste can get a lot of value for your team, but sometimes all you need to do is force immortality and move on. The same thing goes for playing against Tracer. You don't always have to kill someone to get value. Brig is also a pretty easy target to 1v1 from range. Breaking her shield creates huge openings as well. Just make sure you don't fight her up close unless you have a support. Kiriko is variable based on the opponent's skill level. If their aim is really consistent, you should avoid dueling them unless the situation presents itself. Otherwise, you want to force out her Suzu first, then go for the kill. Life Weaver is the easiest character to kill in the game. His large hitbox is super easy to destroy. Your mistake against Life Weaver is either switching to him or not killing him as fast as possible. Lucio generally speeds up his team to run you over, so avoid playing in places allowing them to do so. Instead, play in hard to reach places to kill them over time. If a target you are trying to 1v1 has a damage boost pocket, avoid 1v1ing them without support from your team. This causes you to try and win an impossible duel and just waste your time in general. A lot of players miss this, so it is pretty important to note. Unless you are hitting all of your shots consistently, Moira can actually be a pretty difficult character to 1v1, so avoid dueling her without support from your team. And lastly, against an enemy Zenyatta, it all is going going to come down to who gets the discord first in the 1v1, as it allows you to see the other player through walls. Take your time and try to enable your team until an opportunity presents itself to take out the Zen with a volley. That wraps up all of the mistakes you are most likely making on Zenyatta. There are a lot of creative things you can do on this character, but there are also a lot of specific things you want to avoid too. Make sure you catch up on the Rank Up Fast with Zenyatta guide here on the channel, as well as the complete unranked to GM. But until next time, I've got a peace out, and Paz out. I'll see you in the next one.